Well, assalamu alaikum guys and welcome back to another video on Hackintosh. So this is the video in which I will tell you how to configure your Clover configurator for your Hackintosh and if you are using a KB Lake CPU and a KB Lake motherboard which means a Z270 chipset or H270 chipset or B200 or anything which is 200 series of chipset which means you are using a 7 generation Intel CPU. So what you have to do is first of all you have to mount the USB drive or your EFI drive in which your EFI partition is installed and then you have to mount the config.plst. So the basic steps here is use these 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 things help don't use fixed HDA this normally crashes the system down and you don't need to use a uh, GDP fix, fix USB, fix lane, as fix, fix display, fix shutdown is good, fix this is good, fix HPAT. Um, it it can be used later on, but don't use these things right now because once you are booted into your OS X, you can do a couple of different things after that. But just use fix shutdown here. And here I will recommend you to delete this if there is one. Uh, GFX0 to IGFX is good, and anything else, it's better you remove them. There is no such need for anything right now. And also remove this. It just, it's not required right now. So only this at the start. You can also use enable these and you can use that's it fix fix headers just leave that just use halt enabler so this is the simplest dst that will be generic for a lot a lot of different z270 and z200 series of motherboards and in here in boot you use minus v vu which is verbose so you can get to know how your Mac is doing while well, it's boot up. Nvidia disable is used if you are not using any Nvidia any Nvidia graphics uh, drivers, for example, CUDA or Nvidia Web. So if you are using any, you have to dis unclick it, unclick this to get your Nvidia graphics acceleration working. After that, if you are using Intel, you have to disable graphics firmware. Then here in devices, if you are using the six seven generation. KB Lake, you have to fix the graphics. So, if you're using Intel HD 630, which is 7 generation Intel graphics, so you have to add fake ID properties here. So, the first thing you have to add is this thing, and you have to copy this and paste. I will add this in the description below so you can add this. And then you have to add this under here. Remove any space, don't add any space. Then in key you have to add this here you have to add this and type is data so once done this is done then you go to IG platform and here you have to select the KB Lake one so right now the one I'm using is this one anything other than this causes a crash at the startup so I prefer you to use this and this one is for the older one which is 6th generation so you have to use this one Intel KB Lake HD630 and then you have to use inject Intel but do not use load VBIOS otherwise your system will crash at the boot so it's highly recommended not to use this and there are a few other files in this folder as well you have to copy these two into the EFI folder as well and do remember if you're going to try to boot do check that your EFI folder text always have all the needed text so right now you can see there are a couple of missing text including fake SMC so what we will do is you can download that from internet or you can use my link and you will get all the text you can use the link in the description to get all the text I'm using you can just mount right now I can mount the drive and I will go to Clover Kex 10 or 14 and you can you you have to use all of these as well so 
now you are good to go and now you can boot right into the Mac OS X 10.14 without any issue so that's all for this video guys thanks for watching hope you liked it hope you enjoyed it and if you want any other video on any other system let me know in the comment section below <clears throat> if you still don't get how to do this let me know in the comment section below i will be there to help you out and like share and subscribe and share this video to your friend and family and that's it for this video guys thanks for watching hope you like it hope you enjoyed it and until the very next video please take care allah hafiz